My name is Patrick. I uh, did Aliyah with my parents in 1976 from uh, a little bit traveling around the world. I was born in Holland, grew up in Australia, South Africa, a little bit of France, and then we did Aliyah. I hated Israel. I blamed Israel for everything that had ever happened in my life. And uh, I just wanted a new start. Went to Holland and in 1984, it was the first time I tried heroin. It was just like putting a latex glove on. I knew at that moment, this is what I was looking for. It numbed everything and I didn't care about anything. And so that uh, went on and on. And in Europe, I got into jails and into a lot of trouble. But in 1990, I came back to Israel, started working in my profession. I'm uh, today, I'm a sous chef. Very fast, I got connected with very good cooks and they say, who did you work with? That's the type of cook you are. And uh, I just picked up stuff so fast. I got into the papers and on TV and people paid me what I, what I asked. I loved my profession, I still do. But I ended up on the streets of Tel Aviv in 2003. And uh, it was quite sad, but uh, I got used to it. People told me about Jesus there. In the beginning, it was people walking past me and saying, hey, Jesus loves you. But something happened. Even that, that sentence would, would do something. I didn't know who this Jesus was, but it was these people had a smile from ear to ear and Jesus loves you. you. Just, you know that. Eventually it was more, hey, would you like a cup of coffee? Or in the middle of the night, they'd come and bring a blanket around, put a blanket around me when we were shivering cold. And but the people never told me about Yeshua. They were always talking about Jesus and that didn't kind of fit with me because I had that Jesus picture of a blonde, blue-eyed Jesus with that nice Swedish nose that I like to say. <laughs> and, and in my mind, I really, you know, sorry, but I used to say, wow, well, you got to be kidding me. You can't be bringing this Norwegian God over here again. And that's what I really used to think. So uh, eventually I came uh, here to uh, the House of Victory. I saw people that I knew from the street that had changed. I didn't know them personally, but I knew them. And you know, you, it's, it's a quite a small community when you're on the street with junkies. Something had gone through these people that I figured I need that. Jesus has a Hebrew name. I had no idea about this. This is, this is like a game changer for me. I, I started using heroin in 1984 in Holland and never stopped until 2010. Here and there I had some, you know, a week off here, a week off there, but only when I met the Lord, when, when I met Jesus through ministries like this, like Beth Nitzchon is so important because there are so, so, there are not many of them in the land and, and we need much more people to, to come to, to faith and realize this, this knowing the truth and the truth will set us free. And that is the only thing that set me free is the truth, knowing Yeshua as the truth. I wouldn't be here today if it wouldn't be for the Lord and House of Victory and Mr. Eric Benson. We need more of, of, of these godly programs, which are the only way out. And I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm really choking up. We need places to bring the truth because those that will know the truth will be set free. The truth will set us free. 831, is it? Praise the Lord. So, yeah, whatever the Lord leads you guys to help, if it's financially or even prayer or even just coming and visiting, that is, that is support as well. Whatever you guys do, a million thank you very much from Haifa, Mount Carmel.